you ever made a decision or maybe you're in the process right now making a commitment to working on yourself? I hear people using this phrase all the time. And it's not that working on yourself is necessarily a bad thing, but it is not enough. If you're serious about making change and progressing yourself personally or professionally, you can't just be working on yourself. You need to actually do some things. I'm going to tell you what those things are right here and why working on yourself is not enough. Number one, if you are really doing work on yourself, you need to make some tangible commitments and commit to real actions, things that are actually measurable in terms of results. What can we measurably see you doing differently than what you've been doing up to this point? If you don't have any, you're not doing any real work. What you're doing is paying lip service to progress. Number two, you can't say you're working on yourself while doing the same stuff that you were doing before. So I'm just going to watch more YouTube videos or listen to more podcasts or read more books. That is not working on yourself. It's not that those things are bad, but if you're serious about working on yourself, I just told you, tangible commitments to real actions, not just doing the same stuff you already were doing and just doing more of it. That is not enough. And number three, if you're doing real work, if you're working on your house, for example, don't you need some tools? Don't you need some things that will help you do the job? Same thing when it comes to working on yourself. To do the work, you can't just be thinking about it. If you need to work on your physical body, get a trainer. If you need to work on your business, get in the mastermind or join, get a coach. If you're going to work on yourself, you need to go acquire tools that will put you in a better position to do the actual work rather than just talking about it. Work on your game.